Okay, welcome to the tutorial where I'll demonstrate how to get started with SPSS, give a sense of what the layout looks like, and we'll create a small little data set. First of all, to open up SPSS, I'm going to move my cursor down to the lower left-hand corner of my uh, desktop here, to the Windows icon, and obviously I'm using a PC here. Left mouse button, I'll click on to open that up. And you notice, since I recently added SPSS, it's listed up here at the very top of what opens up. But if I scroll down to see all the apps and software that is installed on my computer, what I'll do is I'll come down to the folder IBM SPSS Statistics. Now you may think that it would be stored under a folder SPSS, but because IBM purchased this software some years a few years back, uh, they put their name IBM in front, so it's under the eyes where you'll find it located. Left mouse button to open up that folder. I'll come down to the very first icon, uh, and that is IBM SPSS Statistics 25. Again, a left mouse button click. I'm using a PC here, and in a few moments you notice it's starting to open up, and I'm using version 25. And regardless of what version you're using, uh, you'll find that even though the layout may be a little bit different, uh, the things that we'll be covering will be uh, fairly similar. Now the first thing it opens up here uh, is this uh, general box, a welcome box if you will. And this can be useful if you notice here down towards the lower right hand portion of this box, uh, a list of tutorials that you can access to uh, explore how to use SPSS. In addition to that, you'll see that in this box over here, recent data files that have been used or even output files that you saved can be easily accessed. But other than that, I don't find um, uh, this box terribly useful, so I will tend to, to close it in order to engage in SPSS. Now, for some reason, it's just minimized here, so I'll open that up. And this is actually the SPSS uh, interface that we have here. This is the data editor. Now you notice, uh, first of all, there are two tabs down here in the lower left hand corner. The data view, and this is where the data that you create or a data set that's already created would be displayed. The rows refer to individual cases or observations, and each column refers to a variable. Typically, you may see folks refer to this as the flat file of the data set. The data is just laid out as though it's flat, as though it's a, a spreadsheet file. That's the data view tab. Now, if we click on the variable view tab, what this does will describe and present information uh, as to what the data that we've entered or the variables that we entered uh, in the data view window uh, actually mean. So this is where the documentation of the data uh, will be displayed. Now up at the very top we see the ribbon up here with a series of menus. Uh, what we'll do is we will execute uh, the uh, commands using SPSS with these menus, these drop-down menus. First of all we see the file menu. I'll use the left mouse button to open that up and this is where we will open and also save the SPSS data files or even output files. Move over to the edit menu. Here we can undo or redo some of the commands and also find and replace that we'll see. For the view menu, here we can influence or control the way in which information is displayed in the data editor in SPSS. For the data menu, We'll use the commands here to combine data sets together or split data sets apart, as well as adding new cases or new variables to a data set. For the transform menu, here's where we actually take data that exists in our data set and we modify it in some way. Either we're collapsing categories together uh, it for a categorical variable or a quantitative variable, or we're creating a new quantitative variable with existing variables that are in the data set. That's the transform menu. For the analyze menu, this is where we'll be doing most of our work and you'll notice here the statistical commands uh, that will be uh, will be used to generating statistical output uh, all reside within the analyze menu. For the graph menu, obviously, we'll use the chart builder command there to create graphs with data. Also, 
the Utilities menu. And one command here that's useful, the very first one, Variables, if we click on that, it'll actually list the variables that are in the data set as well as some of their basic properties, including some of their value labels. And that's often the easy way for us to peruse a data set uh, for a particular variable that we may be interested in or just to get a sense of what the data look like. So that's uh, the general sense of the data editor window in SPSS. What we'll do is we'll come back in the second part of this getting started tutorial and create a small data set as well as document it and exit and save SPSS. So that will be part two of this getting started tutorial.